So you've seen us strip the car, you've seen us put the motor into the car, and now we're gonna put the battery box into the TD5 build, um, which is what the fabrication team has been working on over the last couple of days, I suppose. Um, so we've got here a 55 kilowatt battery box, which is actually made by a company called Felton, who supply us with battery gear and BMSs, etc. Um, so that's that box is sort of prefabbed, um, and we ultimately have to mount it in the car and mount a couple of other bits and do some extra wiring to it. But a lot of the work is done in there. Um, now that box is 55 kilowatt hours, um, so. A, a Tesla Model 3 is about 60 kilowatt hours, so it's slightly less than that. Um, obviously, in a car that's not very aerodynamic, it's not quite as, you know, you won't get as much range as you will in a Model 3, of course, and there's also mechanical losses, etc., because it's an old Defender. Um, but you may think, oh, for, you know, let's call it between 120 and 140 miles of range, that's not very much. But the way we look at it is, when do you ever want to drive around up and down the motorway in something like that? Um, most people that are getting a conversion with us will already have a Model X or a diesel car ultimately. In my view, I actually just borrow my mum's diesel car whenever I'm going somewhere far because I'd rather not drive one of these to Cornwall, for example. Um, so the way of looking at that is although it's only 55 kilowatt hours, it has DC rapid charging. Now DC rapid charging comes out of this HV plus and minus there um, and that allows the car to charge in let's call it 30-40 minutes from 20 to 80 percent. So on the one day you did want to drive it to Cornwall, which most of the time let's face it you're not, you can still put a quick charge into it and that you know means that you do have that long range capability if need be. But more importantly it keeps the cost down. Um, so if we were gonna put, I don't know, two of these battery boxes in, 110 kilowatt hours, the price would be probably 30 grand more. Um, and and we, are, you know, we are very conscious about price. We understand that you can buy a Model X, you can buy a Model 3 with big battery packs. So, we're, so it, in my view, it's a case of let's go smaller on the battery pack, allow fast charging, and that allows us to do it at a, at a more reasonable price, let's say. Um, so hence, the Felton boxes is, is a good solution for us um, in big front engine cars. Um, so we've obviously got the box that needs to sit in there. Um, and this is what Toby and Ryan and the fabrication team have been making. This big five mil steel cross member is what it sits on top of. Um, onto original TD5 engine mounts there and there. Um, because obviously we're not allowed to drill or cut or anything like that. That's why this front is literally just sitting there. Um, it's not bolted on or anything. Um, and then on the back there, it's bolted to the original cross member points um, there and there. So, so that's ultimately secured in four, four places. Absolutely no chance that that is going anywhere. I mean, we, we, when we've got it in, we literally rock the car and the whole car moves instead of the, the battery box, of course. And that's all done using our CNC plasma cutter table over there. So that's why we can build, we know the design, you know, we've built Defenders before with this battery box in them. We know the design, we literally press print on that and then that's, that all starts getting um, welded together by Ryan who is in there. Um, so that's battery box. We're gonna put it in the car now um, and I'll show you what it looks like in there and with, with the other various bits on it, like the charger and the DC-DC that need to be added to it. Um, sitting on those mounts there, but we're going to pop her in with our fancy sort of crane system here, and then I'll show you what it looks like inside the car. So, part two. So, part two, the box is now in. I've just shown you it on the floor, um, but this is what it looks like in this nice TD5. So, you can see where the charger sits on the front on that nice little piece of plasma. CNC plasma cut steel. We've got the DC DC mounted on the back there and the throttle is gonna be on there as well. But what you can see is that it's 55 kilowatts, which is like I say, similar to the Model 3, slightly less than the Model 3. And it fits really nicely where the huge diesel engine sat. 
Um, there is still space around it. People might be thinking, oh, you could fill that space. But really things like power steering modules, um, heater box, loads of cabling, etc., does actually need to go around this box. Um, and also part of you, uh, EU regulation is to have a um, crumple zone. So this crumple zone here is regulatory um, so that when you have a crash you don't immediately hit battery box. Um, so Felton sort of brought that into consideration when they were designing this box. So that's it in. Next steps is it all comes out for, so we can powder coat, powder coat all the frames. Once all the powder coating is done, it will go back in for a final fit with the motor as well. Um, the wiring looms are pretty much ready to go already. They'll get bolted in, um, well, and plugged in. And then this car should be pretty much driving. So stay tuned for the next episode and we will get her wired up.